Lesson 8-3, Modeling Addition of Mixed Numbers. We are going to flip the page to 402, and we're going to look at the actual models. So it says, Bill has two boards that he will use to make picture frames. What is the total length of the boards that he has to make picture frames? So here we have 1 and 11 twelfths and 2 and 5 twelfths. So step one is going to be to add the fractional parts. So we start with the fraction pieces, kind of like we did in the POD the other day. We start with the smaller size. So 5 twelfths plus 11 twelfths gives us 16 twelfths. So now we have to simplify that. So you could divide both sides by 2 and get, um, let's see, 8 sixes. You could divide it by 2 again and get 4 thirds. And then you can see that 4 thirds is the same as 1 third plus 3 thirds. And 3 thirds is the same as 1 whole. So you have 1 and a third. Oops. I wrote that incorrectly, I apologize. One and a third. So they wrote one and four twelfths here, which works also because as you can see, they compared it to the one. So they took out 12 twelfths and that left them with four twelfths. I just took that four twelfths and went ahead and simplified it. So now we can add the whole number parts, which is gonna be two holes plus one hole, which is three holes. But now we have to add both pieces together. So now we have one and a third plus three, and three holes plus one hole is four, and then you still have your third left over. They kept this part again, so they did three plus one and four twelfths, which gave them four and one twelfths, then they had to simplify. So here is where they went and divided both sides by four and got four and one third. When you're dividing to make your fraction smaller, you don't mess with that whole number. The whole number stays the same. All right, so we're gonna kind of look at it again. So Charles used one and two thirds cups of walnuts and two and two thirds cups of cranberries to make breakfast bread. How many cups of walnuts and cranberries did he use in all? We start with the fractions. So here we have two thirds and two thirds. Well, if I bring this third up, we can see that that would give me a whole, and then I have this third left over, which gives me one third. Then you can add your whole numbers here, your whole fraction bars, one, two, three. Then you have to add them together. Three plus one and a third gives me four and a third. Mary worked two and three-fourths hours on Monday and one and three-fourths hours on Tuesday. How many hours did she work in all on Monday and Tuesday? Again, I'm going to take this fraction bar and I'm going to move it up to give me a whole. Then I see that I have two fourths left over. Attention, Eric. Sorry for the announcement. If you are in the building. There is a little treat for you. It's some dessert in the front hallway. So come up and pick yourself up some dessert. And then there's a sign in for yesterday. And if you've not completed your teacher of the year ballot. Sorry for that interruption. I didn't want to restart for that little announcement there. So I have two fourths left over. I'm going to go ahead and simplify that. If I can divide both sides by two, that gives me one half. So now I have a half and a whole. So that's going to give me one and a half. Then I'm going to look at my holes there, and that gives me three. So I'm going to add that to my fraction, and that gives me four and a half. So use your bars to your advantage. And as you get to the plain ones on your own, you can definitely use your fraction strips or you can even draw your own.